So I went to a funeral today and it got me thinking. We all have the same amount of time, so I feel like we shouldn't be wasting it anymore. Events like these, when you go to funerals, when you go to weddings, when you have newborns, like it gives you a reminder of how life is and everybody has essentially the same amount of time within a day to do anything. There's times that seem to go by very fast. These are the times you enjoy, these are the times that are fun, adventurous, spontaneous, and a lot of people like to live life in the fast lane. People like me. There's the other side of the spectrum. Sometimes it's nice to slow down, chill out, to relax, enjoy, and soak in the moment. Life is a very fine balance. There's a very fine line in between those two spectrums, two sides of life, where you're going very fast and then the one where you're kind of taking it slow and cherishing the moment. Anyhow, it's all a very great reminder that there's an end. All I'm trying to get at is life is is so finite. It's so, there's not really a structure. I don't wanna be on my deathbed looking back and wishing for more. I think it's time to to go after it, to keep on keeping on. That's my new motto for the new year, to keep on keeping on. I haven't done cardio in a couple months now, so I'm gonna just do a 30 minute run. I don't really run for distance, I run for time. So just 30 minutes straight running and yeah, let's get going. I'm so sweaty. It is so cold outside. I ran for 35 minutes. I'm so tired. I haven't done cardio in like forever. I'm out of breath. It felt kind of nice though. I was like hot and sweaty, but it was cold. So it was, it was the perfect balance. I'm just gonna sit here for a second. It's like three o'clock now and I have yet to eat, but first I gotta go shower and we'll make some food. And then uh, I think that's all for today's agenda. Oh, I can't wait to eat. The light inside my kitchen is dead, so I'm using the light inside this fridge. Big brain. It's basically four o'clock, first meal of the day. Uh, we got leftovers because it is Monday, so leftovers from the weekend. We got a quarter of a Costco hot dog, some Korean fish soup that I'm gonna eat with some rice, and I'm also going to do a toasted croissant with cheese and some grapes. All I gotta get now is the rice. Okay. probably noticed some grapes on the table and yes, there is a lot of grapes on this table. This is for New Year's tomorrow. So today is January 31st, which means tomorrow, February 1st, 2022 is the Lunar New Year. If you guys don't celebrate the Lunar New Year or don't know what it is, it is basically the calendar according to the moon and tomorrow, as it suggests, is the new year according to the moon and that's what most Asian people celebrate, Vietnamese people celebrate, we call it that and it is the year of the tiger which is the year that I was born so I would like to wish you guys a happy new year full of good luck, prosperity, it is the start of a new year so go out and get that bag. Now for food, because I really am hungry. Wow, 
while I'm waiting for all that food to heat up, hmm, how do I put this? I'm trying to be more productive in life. So one of the ways that I'm trying to do that is by getting in more books. I don't mean actually reading the books. I've been getting a lot of audiobooks off of like YouTube and stuff. Currently listening to Rich Dad Poor Dad. It's a very interesting listen. Uh, I would read, but I'm very lazy. So that's the current thing I'm doing right now. That was a good first meal. All I got left are the grapes. There's actually kind of a lot of food, but that's okay. Currently, I am trying to gain a little bit of weight. I am sitting at about 148 pounds. I'm trying to get up to about 155, 160. So eating a little bit more is okay for me. And that's why I did the cardio today because I wanna gain weight, but I don't wanna look chunky. You know what I mean? All right, so I'm gonna take these grapes and I'm gonna edit for a couple hours and I will pick back up afterwards. 